This is a happy day. It's a fun day, and we're here to share this really wonderful and exciting beginning with you and to thank you and to celebrate the beginning of our work to relieve overcrowding and repair our older schools. On behalf of all the students who will be positively affected by this expansion, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you who saw our overcrowding issue and decided to take action on that problem. I had the opportunity to open Damani Ranch High School in 2003 and when we opened in 2003 we were actually ironically under construction at that time as well. Coming into the start of this school year I was nervous that we were going to end up experiencing some of that same kind of disruption and I gotta tell you Clark and Sullivan was incredible. The, the transitions, the, the completion of the projects, all of that was was almost seamless and I was anticipating that we wouldn't have the opportunity to move into classrooms until uh, the fall of 2018. One, two, three. <laughs> I also want to thank Clark and Sullivan and also Terry Melby from GML Architects for the great job on this. We added 22 classrooms in this facility. We're going to be able to get kids out of portables. We, are, we have new labs, science labs, computer labs, uh, and as we all know, to ready our students for the 21st century, uh, they deserve the best that we can give them, and this facility represents an astonishing leap forward for our kids. Uh, we want to thank all of the voters who supported WC1 that made this possible. This is the first of our uh, more than $10 million projects to come from our WC1 funding. We know also that this was a great job creating project for Washoe County. We had more than 60 jobs created. More than 90% of the contractors were local contractors. More than 95% were Nevada contractors. I like that we're all inside one building and for a lot of reasons, not only because of the weather, but for safety you know, reasons as well. So. The kids have really enjoyed moving into the new parts of the building. Early on, I was told that during senior year I would be in the classrooms, but then after a while they said, no, you're not going to experience it at all. I was like, no, I have to see it. And I was like, oh, I really don't want to be in a mobile next year, kind of like, don't want to do that. But now that there's new add-ons, like I don't have to be in the mobiles or anything, so it's kind of nice. It's just clean and it feels like good to be somewhere new and rather than cramped up in a small mobile or smaller classroom. I can tell that sense of the boxes are here as you can see like they're moving in a lot of new equipment for next year which is going to be great for the new incoming students. And I'm glad I got to be in the new expansion. It's definitely going to benefit the future students. More space, more different technologies. We're actually sitting in one of the most sought-after spaces out of all the new construction. and It's a, it's a teacher workroom, uh, but the, the views of Mount Rose and the community um, is just, it's just gorgeous. And so our staff have all made requests to have this as their, their workspace. I was in quite literally the center of the building. Um, it was the smallest room I could think of I've seen in the building with no windows um, and very dark, very teeny with 40 students. And we joked that it was like a, an airplane and you shouldn't move about the cabin because there's no room. First thing my students said when they came in was, I can move. Um, and they put their arms out and they, they had space, they could get up, they could utilize the space, um, they could work together, I can reconfigure the tables, and now they get up, they talk to each other, um, and I think because of that their work productivity has increased and the classroom environment is much more positive, and the work they produce is, in my opinion, far better. We're not as cramped, and an example of that is we've used uh, one third of our cafeteria is a classroom for the last, I think, four or five years. Um, and when you would come in at lunch, you would see lots of kids cramped up in a small space to eat lunch. And what I've noticed since we've gotten back one third of our cafeteria that there's a lot more room and a little bit more elbow room to, to sit down and enjoy and relax and, and they can enjoy their lunch. 
to be honest, I, I really do hope this is my home and that I stay here and um, that my children come through this school. Uh, my, my husband teaches here, I teach here, and our children are actually supposed to come to Tamani. I'm extremely grateful that I was given this opportunity to get this space just for me, but for the whole school and for our community, it's, it means a lot.